waweza waweza to to digest the the fame part and become a, a, a wife, wife. Yeah. it takes the hand of god yeah. and and i heard on your testimony cuz cuz uh, you stayed 10 years yes, yes. Badum, badum toto. yeah now you said he would have left you yeah he would have he had But, the he had the liberty because i i i was the problem bam he hears a girl singing and he's like so attracted to that voice so na mzangu unipenda mimi or person start talking a young girl of 14 15 16, these girls they have wow. given birth mm-hmm. they don't have a know how from there they they don't know anything they don't have diapers they don't have they have not even bought pant for the child mm-hmm. utatoka je hospitali na una baby show ya kufunika mtoto wanakatana leso huyu anasaidia leso na mwingine anasaidia leso his dad was like um shindi come and have some maize he told his dad no 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 daddy that's corn i cannot imagine myself correcting my dad <laughs>
mm-hmm. and then i went to um i got a sponsorship um academic scholarship they were giving for few months in kabarak university yeah and a permanent presidential music commission mm-hmm. so i went to kabarak university did a bit of that as well and then i'm here wow mm-hmm. That's fantastic. I'm telling you. So, uh, when did you now start like professionally? You know, kuna ile ya kuimba kwa bafu, eh? Sijui kama ulikuwa unatungia. Unajua kuna watu wanatungia anga watu tunyimbo tunyimbo hapo hivyo tutakupasha ujumbe. Eh. Of course hakuna wimbo wenye. Unajua maybe says kwa natunga ya kupasha ujumbe, but you know the the storms of life. Yeah. They kind of lead you to come up with songs just to encourage this something powerful about music. Mm-hmm. And so the storms of life they push you and you find yourself you know singing uh, songs that probably they will pass a message to somebody. There are some who do to pass a message positively, some when I ya kuchocha na kuchokoza na kuchoma mtu. So uh, for me uh, music is not just music. Yeah. Music is music with a purpose mm-hmm. and a, and and a reason. Wow. So I don't just wake up and sing at because I want to sing. I wake up in the morning and sing because somebody needs to be encouraged. Somebody needs to see a hope for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Someone needs to hear that song so that they they, they you know music kind of marries you. Mm-hmm. So they get to marry, you know. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So uh, I just had a little bit of tip that you also train not just a talent mm-hmm. pure talent mm-hmm. is trained a little bit in school mm-hmm. to sharpen a little bit. Yeah. Yes, I did. I did um guitar. Mm-hmm. I did um keyboard. Mm-hmm. Uh of course I did voice but not that much. I yeah. think it's just inbuilt voice is inbuilt but I did guitar and keyboard. Um that one has helped me as well even in w- what i'm doing right now is my business mm-hmm. which we have a music production uh-huh. uh studio where we of, of course we teach music we produce music for musicians we give them an opportunity to grow themselves to yeah. become to become good musicians mm-hmm. out there yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. wow yeah yeah that that's fantastic because uh, i've seen recently you uh, uh, accessed a new brand guitar ah! i was actually you know i had such long nails yeah. and i just remembered most of my songs that people loved the most viewed music uh we started off with my husband back in in in, in nakuru mm-hmm. uh by just him playing the guitar and uh as as you're growing in music and as you as god elevates you more it gives you you become so busy yeah. that you don't sometimes get even time to compose mm-hmm. we take those moments that when ile yenye wanasema ngati at when you upcoming hakuna ngacha upcoming that every day you're growing <laughs> absolutely and every day people are growing out there they are sharpening their skills to be better than you yeah yeah so if you don't better your skill someone is doing it 24/7 7. So you you are busy making money you're yeah. busy uh, cr- uh going for tours you're busy you know doing initiatives um endorsing products you know because now your name is out there yeah. you don't have time to go back and sharpen your skills and so that time that season I composed so many songs that are such a blessing to so wow. many people in the entire of the world uh-huh. And I just said, hey, I need to go back to the norm. Yeah. Back to the basics. You know, just sharpen my skills, mm-hmm. go back and do, you know, you sometimes you you want to record a song and you don't know, you don't have time literally, but with the guitar it gives you melodies. Yeah, uh-huh. Melodies just drop. Yeah. So nowadays I see myself even in church, someone will think I'm speaking to somebody on phone and I'm recording a song that has just dropped in my heart. Yes. And I would really love to sharpen it and just build even the words and just build the song. Yeah. But you don't get that time. Yeah. So any musician that is looking at me and watching me today, that time that when you're not yet when you haven't gotten the stage to go and you know sing and minister to people or perform, those days that you're in the house or you wherever you are and you have time to record or time to just build up on music 
please make as many composition as you can mm-hmm. because there is a time is going to come when you get a lot of invitations yeah. you don't have time don't to have, go to the studio uh-huh. you literally have to also put studio time in, yeah. on schedule yes which i never thought in my mind yeah. because every time i'll be i have a song studio yeah. i have a song. but now i'll it's time thinking, not to eat now <laughs> i'm looking the hard at work. i'm yeah the hard work but again i want to compose songs i want to go to the studio but there's no time there's no time because of the invitations there's yeah. so many yeah. and they they will come because you have planted that is yeah. a season of planting uh-huh. in the bible says there's time for everything, everything. so plan, time for planting time for sowing time for you know kufanya nini kungoa magugu whatever kupalilia yes so yeah. there's time for everything so in your season plant yeah. what is planting music compose Ile as kitu much as you can. Yeah. what i'm gathering from this is that musician out here ought to learn at least an instrument it is to compose when you you have understanding of at least an instrument mm-hmm. and then number two is good to be prepared yeah. because preparedness is good when it meets an opportunity sure see at ukota ka wimboka moja umepata opportunity ya kwenda america wapi wapi kwa wimbo moja so record when time comes so i want to understand mm-hmm. what is that first song that ilikutoa Oh my goodness imagine <laughs> uh there's this song called Mazingira yeah can you imagine i i love the environment i still love environment i am a, I'm, a, i'm a full supporter and uh, uh a good steward for environment yes. I, i i support and echo good environment and i did the Mazingira and it became a theme song for Mau, reclamation of Mau forest Ooh. That's That huge. was back in 2009. Uh-huh. Can you imagine? I did a song called Mazingira. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't at nini. It was a good song to 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 talk about becoming a good steward for environment. Yeah. But uh, I think that wasn't the way that God wanted me to take. Yeah. Uh-huh. But Mazingira now was taken as a theme song. It I started getting invitations to go and do just um sensitization mm. for environmental issues peace yeah. uh, and, and 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 reconciliation uh, in different uh, avenues uh, back in uh, rift valley mm-hmm. and uh, with time uh, someone just triggered and looked at us with, by then my boyfriend who had really decided to say hey we're going to do this thing yeah He was he was challenged by Jugush Jugush kwa Kikru yeah says um sana kona talent sana eh fanyaje some record gospel songs mone usiana nenda mbali but deep down in my heart because I'm a worship leader I have been in church my entire life yeah. literally I knew that was not my line per se mm-hmm. but of course I will I will talk about the initiative because I have a foundation which uh, yes. the, the, it talks also about the environmental mm-hmm. issues but now I knew God had a different purpose for me. Yeah. So um I remember there was a song and I remember how I came about singing uh, at a song called Waweza. So I did uh, this song called Waweza Mokozi. Tutuguzie tuguzie watu wakumbuke ni bwana. Waweza 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 mokozi waweza mambo yote wewe mwaminifu so i did waweza and waweza went ahead of me yeah it beca- the audio itself without became, a video without a video yeah became so big and people didn't know who was sang waweza because by then i, I we, we didn't have structures on how to you know to uh, market music i i was living in nakuru coming to nairobi was golden ja, ja, <laughs> shamba la mawe <laughs> was golden like i'm coming to nairobi eh yeah. hey, you cannot believe you're coming to nairobi i remember seeing you those days ikru bs oh bible my study God. Uh, bs is a bad word here bible study <laughs> oh really yeah 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 so bible study let's call it bible study <laughs> i remember those days 2000 my 11 uko 12 yeah there about <coughs> i've known you for long yeah yeah it's been it's been a long a long journey <laughs> so i did uh, <clears throat> i did uh, waweza yeah so when agunda was told by jugush hey i think this girl needs to really you know um take this music to another dimension so jugush had to challenge so we did waweza and when we did waweza mokozi uh 
ikakuwa audio ika ika hit and then ikakupita ikanipita <laughs> nikakuwa na stress sababu song imenipita <clears throat> but sama we had to look for money sababu yeah. tulikuwa tuna hustle sana na kuru kufanya video ilikuwa na 7k na hiyo 7000 nikutafuta kwa Niku jasho na uvumba na, yani 7000 is not 7000 yeah. dollars it's 7 million huko hiyo time it's not 7 million yeah. see we see 7000 dollars yeah. 7000 sini 70 dollars. Yeah, yeah. Ndio nasema in that time mm. ni kama 70 million I'm like telling you, it, it was hard to get. It was hard to get. Yeah. But that was just back in 2000 and what? And 10 or something. Mm-hmm. So we did the song. Somehow God opened the door. We did the 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 the, the, the video and uh Jugush took the video. I had hosted them sometimes kufanyanga watu vizuri kuwa mzuri kwa watu kama wamekuja in a foreign place yeah. that come for missions in Nakuru and they did not have a place to stay so my mom <coughs> akawapatia place ya kukaa and uh, gunda pia akawapatia kwa studio yake wakakaa walikuwa around 15 of them so we stayed with them the entire month as they are doing their mission so akasema the only way he can support me kurudisha mkono yeah. ni by playing the music playing the music on mm. on TV. Yeah. So he took the song and then the song went boom completely out. And then is when God now started opening doors for me in Nairobi. Yeah. Started doing a lot of trips trip, trips in uh, in Nakuru Nairobi mm-hmm. because um the demand was coming up. Now I'm coming up and people want to identify with this minister. Yeah. And then God dropped another song. Because when you are rising uh, in your rising season, you will get people in your life that will celebrate with you and there are people who will not celebrate with you. In mm-hmm. fact, they will be wanakuombea wana, mabaya. Wanakuombea yeah. mabaya. They are, they are once hitting you, they are the ones talking bad, they are the ones, you know, <clears throat> bringing you down. And um I could not believe in my rising the people that i thought that would celebrate me are the ones who are fighting me wow so this song came up zaidi ya yote utabaki kuwa mungu mku alpha na omega ubadiliki kamwe so above all the only person that i knew could not change was god but i saw the heart of man changing 360 degrees yani mtu mwenye alikuwa beshte anakuwa kitu kingine because wow. of your rising mm-hmm. <clears throat> they could not they could not withstand my success and it's so bad and so sad to see people that you've stood with not withstanding your success mm-hmm. uh so a friend of mine today wrote something says um when you're angry the name the word anger be careful on how you behave when you when you while you are in anger yeah because the, the the only word that is missing on the word anger is d d that means it becomes danger mm. so you, you become angry this person is becoming so popular yeah this person is growing then you are becoming a dangerous person to this you might you might do anything that's yeah. when watu wana poisoniwa watu wana bangiwa agenda mbaya mbaya mm. so god started raising me and i did this idea yote utabaki kuwa mungu <clears throat> i was really broken yeah because i i expected uh, support from people that never gave me that support and i continue rising you know and doors started opening not only in kenya outside kenya now the assignment became bigger than even evelyn now oh. <clears throat> and i started moving Yeah, I started moving. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. <gasps> so so uh you've started now recording, mm-hmm. you've started uh doing songs after song, you've started traveling. <coughs> at, at that time, which countries had you traveled to? I'd gone to South Africa mm-hmm. uh 2016 when I did Zaidi Yote. Yeah. And then I had gone to Tanzania, I'd gone to Uganda. Mm-hmm. Uh Uganda was so receptive because in my album I always had done a song called Tunakuabudu. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Apparently tunakuabudu is even bigger than waweza. Oh wow. Tunakuabudu. 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 Mwenye enzi 
and they had put a bit of uh, luganda in it mm-hmm. oh 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 nyembera yasu ya lwanenta lozange so people were really connecting to that uh-huh. so i got an opportunity to go to uganda <clears throat> and god started just opening doors wow Wow, that's amazing. Uh, and and Uganda mostly they don't speak Swahili a lot. They, don't they speak, speak Swahili, English they mostly. They speak English a lot. Yeah. yeah. But your song was was able to cut across. Are you are you mostly influenced by South Africa tunes cuz I find like uh most of my music kona hiyo ka groove ka ka South Africa. Kuna vile kanaenda. Kuna vile kanaenda. Sijui hata inakujanga tu. Unajua songs ni kwa inspired. Yeah, yeah. So inspiration yangu probably ilikuwa inatoka South Africa. I don't know. Did you watch a lot of Joyas? Probably Joya celebration. One of my 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 role model I looked up to her a lot. Mm-hmm. I, I still love her mu- music and uh, um Rebecca Malope yeah. and also Benjamin Dube. Eh hey, those guys are doing crazy yeah. stuff out there, you uh-huh. know. And so I drew a lot from them. I grew up listening to them mm-hmm. a lot. Yeah. yeah so uh, to some point I get I think I got influenced from that part mm-hmm. of, of So apart world. from the South Africa inclination <clears throat> of your music. Mm-hmm. Where else does your inspiration come from in your daily writing of music performances and stuff like that? Wow. Um hey, inspirations come from so many things, you know. Um life life is not it's a journey. Mm-hmm. So every day you will encounter so many things in life. Yeah. So I get inspired with the seasons in in my life. Uh and I'm like I I think someone I, out of this situation I've just come through God has over as an enabled me to overcome I, I there's a song being birthed out of it mm-hmm. um of course I'm being inspired even with Nigerians are uh, inspiring me now Ghanaians doing amazing stuff yeah. uh, of course Americans yeah and uh, but basically I think seasons of life mm-hmm. uh, I'm, I'm, most of the time I'm inspired with the seasons of life and that one draws and brings a lot of music in me Yeah. Yeah. Wow, wow. That's that's fantastic. Now, uh I know behind every successful female or man mm-hmm. there is the opposite gender. Oh, is it behind <laughs> or beside? Beside whatever it is, beside Kando, uh-huh. whatever it is. Uh-huh. But uh it's so uh, like upfront because when somebody sees you they know your husband is the producer. How did you meet you guys? How did you meet? How oh. did the journey continue? I had your testimony when you were performing and uh 10 years without a child. Well, yeah, we met in Nakuru. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> he he loves music. Yeah. Uh he's been bro- he's a is a is a PK, pastor's kid. Yeah. Yeah, he's a pastor's kid and they, he's been re- raised in uh, raised in church. So he's been singing and leading worship in his church in mm-hmm. uh, in Nairobi. Oh, alikuwa naimba. Yeah, you can sing. Allah. He's a very good singer. Eh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, no wonder, no wonder then a good a good producer because mm-hmm. if you know how to do, okay. yes. then you can be able to to direct people that nicely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he uh, used to sing, but that wasn't his passion as well. Yeah. He wanted to become uh, a doctor. Mm-hmm. So he studied chemistry. He actually even got an an opportunity to come to in the US to study yeah medicine but uh, his heart kuna vile tu Mungu alikuwa anataka ameet msichana fulani hapo hapo nakuru eh sasa ange avoid hiyo ni kama jona unaenda unataka kwenda hivi goda na una mwezo unarudi hapo pande nyingine unarudishwa so he had to come to nakuru uh, uh-huh. because he was working in an office mm-hmm. as an assistant hr yeah so he came to nakuru and he was looking for a church and then bam he hears a girl singing and he's like so attracted to that voice so na mzango unipenda mimi or person start talking did you but this is what he says that uh, every, when the moment he entered church mm-hmm. he his my eyes and his eyes kind of they clicked clicked literally pensi mtazamaji pensi mta mapenzi wewe and a church and a church and a church we kanisa ni poa kanisa ni kuzuri kuzuri kuna kuna kila kuna watu wazuri kuna watu wazuri huko and so I, for me i really got attracted to him when he entered this sanctuary mm-hmm. i was like my god who is that guy because i've always been in church so i kind of know 
you you know when you're standing on the altar you kind of know it's like your boss yeah, the boss yeah. boss knows uh-huh. <laughs> you kind of know everybody so him i got attracted and i said who is this guy coming in i'm telling you i could not i could not withstand the pressure in me the love was too much i changed my song list I changed my song list. I started singing Bwana Yesu wewe nakupenda. Wewe, wewe. Sasa kwa sababu sijui love songs. Eh. <laughs> I changed my is it okay? Hey, yesu ni Bwana Alpha and Omega. I'm saying Bwana Yesu nakupenda. Eh? Yaani jina ningeweza kusema This is my desire. This is my story. <laughs> Pigia Yesu makofi ya hewa. Hey. So this guy Uh, I stayed in church uh, eight months down the line. I tried to see if there's a way. You know, you, women, we cannot approach a man. Uh-huh. You allow a man to approach. Una goja ngo wind way. Sikuwa nasema windu vichange anga. Ah, yeah, kuna kuchange kwa African setup no. Una ngoja wind way. Utaenda je kuji, unaenda je kujiwindia. Si unaona wadada mpaka wana kneel down, wana wana squeeze kwa ma, kwa, kwa streets. Wana kneel down wanataka kuengage. Eh, hao ni hao. Sijui walifunziwa na mama zao wapi. <laughs> Yeah, you know. So this guy uh uh one day I'm seated next to him came to church a bit late so I was ushered to sit next to him. Mm-hmm. And the pastor says turn to your neighbor to your left and to your right tell them God loves you and this guy doesn't turn. I'm like, "Oh my God." I that was my that was my opportunity. Yeah. I thought I'm going to seize it. I did not seize. So he continued facing at the front and I was like, oh god, or maybe I'm going to crash on someone's husband or yeah. something. I was so disappointed in him. Ah, ni ile let go nikaendelea tu kuendelea na maisha kama kawaida. Kama kuna mwingine atanikatia atanikatia. Kwani nini shia? Tomoka. But ndani unakufa, unachomoka aje na unakufa. <laughs> you know sometimes a man can make you feel as if you're not beautiful or eh. you're in reality complex. Eh, eh. Ah. Unaenda kuongeza makeup tena. Ai siko najua makeup inafanana. Ni kwamba unorish tu unafaa uone picha zangu. In fact unafaa uweke watu before, 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 before and after. Eh, eh. Hmm? Where? So God somehow one day we just bumped into each other at the church door and this guy goes like hi Eva. Ooh. He called me by my name. Yes. Yes. Ni kama venye God anasema I know, know you. you by your name. I even know uh, yeah. Hey. Ralepo. Hey. Kasteta. Ay ay ay. Hey. Geri yo ya koi. Eh? Wewe 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 sasa. Aka akaniambia I I I I I've been I said I asked him do how did you know my name? Mm-hmm. He says but I hear the pastor calling you when you want to when he wants you to come and lead. Yeah. I said God you have positioned me literally, you know. And so we started talking and he told me his name and I was like Father God. God you've brought a real West African right in front of my face. Cha- Cha- What manner of love is this? What manner of love is Bwana this? Bwana Yesu we nakupenda. Hallelujah. Kiri story. Story the right place. <laughs> <laughs> What? Uh-huh. So this guy tells me, uh, I've been watching you, you know. I've been seeing you. And I'm like, yeah, me too. I've been seeing you, but in my heart I'm like I've been waiting for this opportunity. What? So uh, after two days he says, "Can I take you for lunch?" Uh-huh. And then he Eh, alikuwa anajua mambo ya kutake for lunch. Eh, bwana. Huyu ni gentleman. Mambo si mabaya hapa. Huyu ni gentleman. Who's your schoolboy? <laughs> This is a gentleman. Uh-huh. Not a schoolboy, you eh. know, and the way he talks, you know, mm. he's of, he's calm, yeah. who collected. Hey. Na mimi, uh-huh. tomboy. I told my mom mom there's this man that wants to take me for lunch hey. I'm like my mom is like eh he calls my sisters if nina napelekwa out na mwanaume for the first time they all prepared what is she going to put on hey. 
Ikakuwa ni sherehe ya nyumbani sasa. Yeah, sherehe because I never used to introduce any man in my to in, my, in our home. I never. Mm-hmm. Number two, I never used to know how to dress spike. So they had to really ensure we are end you to make a Hey, eh? So I dressed up and then he took me for lunch. Then we sat down. And my goodness, he, I'm like, my mom gave me 200 shillings. Mm-hmm. She, she told me, yo, time to come to Ganga song. Gina po na ito, utachonga viazi. If you don't, don't pay do, that bill. What? So uh, my mom said, Usi, Erozi kumbuka hizo ba song wewe. Eh, hey, that's how I did. Unajua, hiyo ni time ya moment <laughs> love <laughs> moment. Things that shaped your life. Things that <laughs> made this man become Evelyn's husband. Hey. Do you know this guy, I sat there and my goodness, there are people who are, when they are brought in your life, they sharpen you. God does not give you someone that will break you. He brings you, he brings you someone that will sh- must sharpen you. Yeah. Must upgrade you. Mm-hmm. So that anyone, anybody that, that, that looked down on you, akikuona anakuona differently. Wow. That's when you see when a woman probably gets married and a glow. Usipo glow kuna kasoro maani. You must glow somehow. Uh-huh. So that um, that day we sat there, and then he said uh, he wants to eat burger. Me Evelyn Wajiro, nakuru burger ni anani na mama angu mashida zilikuwa zimejaa kuanzia timbuktu timbuktu mbaka Yugoslavia. Watu unajua burger na fona nanga aji. And then he asked. Fona kwa chafua. Hey, chafua ndio gadi tena gadi. Sisi na kwa kazi mendi koko kuta uko yu. Gadi gadi. So, he sits down, asks for a burger. I'm just looking at him. He says, can, you can order anything. I said, yeah. no. He said, I'll just take a glass of juice. Juice, ni, ni kiangalia bill, ni a hundred bob. E yu ndaweza. A hundred ingine ni fair yangu. Just in case ushindo kudina. Yeah. Minda yeah. si mama ni kuwachanisha po. Sisi kujui. Yeah. I've just known you for like a three days or four. Yeah. I only see you in church, but I don't know you. Like, this is the first time. So, he... <laughs> Orders burger and fork and a knife. And then he cuts. Hey, me na angalia na sema. Hapa ni kujibisha gani ni tajibisha hapa. So he's taught me actually to use. He ta- he's the one who taught me how to use a fork mm-hmm. and a knife. Wow. He taught me how to use a fork and a knife. We took our juice and uh, we started talking and I asked him, so let me know why did you call me here? Mm-hmm. He says, I'm not looking for a girlfriend. I'm looking for a wife. I'm like, my God. This one is too straight. Hata kama nilikuwa nataka uchali hata yamekuja sana. Unajua calm down. Yeah. I I told him I told, I told him I'm not ready for marriage. Uh-huh. Would you give me 4 years? He says yes, I'm going to give you 4 years. I asked him, "Where are you from?" He said from Nairobi. I told him myself in my heart. I'm like, "Najua umenicheza hapo 10 nil. Mchali mgani wa Nairobi atakungojea 4 years." I was make. I was make. So he said he's going to wait for mm-hmm. me. And I was I was impressed. I I he said, "Okay." With that with time, when we continue dating, he said, you're too talented. I want to resign my job to become your music producer. Wow. He said, are you sure? Yeah. So he resigned his job. He became my music producer. He said, I want us to open a studio together. I don't have much. Of course, it's like the way, uh, silver and gold are vinyl. Yeah. But he, for sure, silver and gold, he didn't have. Mm. But what is inside I, me? I remember his salary. Mm. His salary was you 10,000 shillings. Your 10,000, they alikuwa napianga girlfriend yake, eh. thaw. Alipe nyumbake siju elfu tatu. Afanya shopping elfu mbili. Siju afanya siju. Yani, aki, aki pesa, 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 pesa meisha. I'm telling you the passion that he had for yeah. my music. Mm-hmm. So we, we started off the studio, and our studio, my goodness, it was a church microphone, not even this type. Yeah, yeah. The church microphone you're gonna come out pile auja. SM58, yes. Uh-huh. Yo, and then he took his socks na hanga. You know hanga zile za wire. Uh-huh. And then he put the socks. It was a pop filter. That's where we did waweza. Wow. And wow. mungumku wow. the people that song that people love. Hey, mungumku the people Kenyans have named it Zaidia yote. Hey. Most of the songs have been ba- and he had a kagita that his dad had given him. Mm. That's how we used to produce. And then we came up with a production house. We called it Buenive. Buenive is Agunda Bueni yeah. and Evelyn. Mm-hmm. You know his name is Agunda Bueni. Mm-hmm. So Agunda Bueni. Bueni and Eve. So yeah. Buenive Productions. Wow, wow, wow. 
a girlfriend a boyfriend we did not know anything we just knew our future is bright mm. wow never despise your humble beginnings never despise your humble beginnings yes because you never know where god is taking you and so we started off Mm-hmm. After four years, I'm like, eh, I would your mama make a car, I just suck on your back, I'm a new atena. I mean, I ask you, but it's now one. Yeah, it's now one. So we'll never go back four years. I'm looking for a job to make a car. I'm going to be, eh, no, I make car too much. Mm-hmm. So we for the uh, April twelfth, uh, April seventh, we got married. Mm-hmm. Uh, twenty twelve. That's when we got married, and I'm telling you. I keep on encouraging people that look at us and they admire us on the screens. Tell people my wedding wedding budget was 75,000. 50. Chakula. Sababu yeye ni wa western. Hapo sana. Hapo chakula. Hapo sana. Si watu wakoza chakula utanjibu mas. Yeah. And you know I'd sang in someone's wedding. Uh I'd just going to be a blessing. And she told me because you've come to my wedding, mm-hmm. and you did not ask me for a coin. You said you want to bless me. What? I'm gonna make you a wedding gown. The day you want to get married, I'm uh-huh. gonna give you my wedding gown. I'm wow. gonna, I'm gonna not give you. I'm gonna make a wedding gown. Uh-huh. And for sure, true to her words, she Ali had um, Alini make a gown. Um, our wedding rings, we had a thousand shillings. To learn no wedding ring, see the wedding ring too. Yeah. Five hundred bob. Five hundred bob. See bob and say my I do. <laughs> Do not despise humble beginning. True, 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 true. So we started off like that. Um, with time, God has blessed us. Yeah. I mean, we 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 upgraded our wedding rings, and by that time, it was five years in marriage. And my husband was like, "You, you've waited on me, and now you deserve a real ring. something you are, better. You are you are a true uh, wife. Yeah, true you testament. Know, true <laughs> testament of a wife. You know." <laughs> And I'm telling you, God makes everything beautiful when mm. you wait. Yeah, in His own time. In His own time. Mm. So we, we, we. That's how we. I met this young man, and uh, we started growing together in music. We moved now from um, Nairobi. Ah, uh, from Nakuru, we went to Nairobi. Mm-hmm. But the the decision of us moving from Nakuru, it was hard. I told him I cannot go to Nairobi. Yeah. Because I don't see our economy the way we are. We were not stable. Uh-huh. We got an offer to go to South Sudan. We went by road to South Sudan to make how much? Forty thousand Kenya shillings. Yeah, that forty thousand to go and make una skate to Magansho. We had gone to to record some people, some Sudanese there, mm-hmm. a choir. Yeah. So we traveled, and then we came back still by road, two days on the road, and then we moved to Nairobi. Started in life. Started life, life completely. So hey, I hear your your journey with your husband now. Now, uh, uh, how did you balance this musically? Kuweka relationship, kuwana. How did you, how did you come uh, cut that balance? I sincerely speaking, I have no idea how we've been doing it even up to now. Um, I think you just have to sit down and agree. Yeah, you. Uh, you have to have time for everything you because every day you're growing and of course we knew there was a there's a time we're going to have um a family so you have to balance yourself you cannot ba- just be one sided like music 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 one thing will will might fail yeah so you create time for everything All create time mm-hmm. for your marriage <clears throat> most of the time when someone gets married they don't get get even time to like say we want to sit down and talk Let's go out for the way you used to go date. out date. Yeah. Let's do the date again. Like you know, shouldn't start to kind of catch in there. Turn the other one in. Because the fire is no longer yeah. there. Mm. How do you? That's the only way to put the fire in up. marriage yeah. up. Reignite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Every day you have to be intentional of you know reigniting your fire in your marriage. It is not easy, and I'm sure there are people that are like mm. ah. Yeah. It is the truth because this is the, the the husband of your youth, or maybe you guys have been married, whether it's your, your youth or not. Mm-hmm. But you have to find a way of balancing in yeah. marriage. It, was there a point that you were insecure because you you both grew like like household names? Well, you can grow Kiviako, you can grow Kiviako as a producer. Uh, like kuna place ilifika, maybe you kona anakatiwa, moye unakatiwa. Ushi katiwa by the way. Eh, <laughs> 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 kwa inbox. <laughs> 
Eh, of course ziko mingi. Napenda sana si sauti sana. Eh. <laughs> Ziko zingine na shinongo sasa huyu eh. jamani toksidiaje Of course you know now you've already put yourself out there When you put out yourself out there you 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 literally have opened a book that was not uh ready to be opened but mm-hmm. it has to be opened because everybody wants a, a piece of you mm-hmm. and especially when it comes to ministry and so to make grow this water to to, to I, I My god si watu watamwandikia at my DM unataka kukufa kwanza wanaandika unaangalia msichana unasema yes sijui ni jibleach sijui ni jibleach ni jibleach sijui ni jibleach ama nifanye nini ama ni kwa mrefu you know so we don't we don't lack that mm-hmm. it's it's something that is there and we are living in a world that people don't uh, they don't care they don't care yeah. they, as long as they get what they want mm-hmm. to them probably is fame to them probably is money yeah. it's uh, beyond that so we but it depends with the person mm-hmm. and your relationship as as a couple yeah <clears throat> what are the what are the regulations that you've put For sure sometimes he will take he, he manages my social media and, and I have a team also that manages my social media sometimes yeah. mm. and he will go and check my messages then yata me sometimes sijangalana na niambia we kuna mtu ameandika pale mustari eh eh kuja uone hii we talk yeah we talk got to be open we got to be open mm-hmm. to each other mm-hmm. and of course zingine zitaku hurt yeah. zingine uta utashindwa how do i react now mm-hmm. this one and Sasa ni za watu nyo unajua you are like ala even you you are in this territory what are you doing here yeah. how do you handle that mm. but it depends with your relationship with your spouse yeah with this world that we are in right now for sure people don't care you the way you bring your your your, your case on the table it matters a lot especially as a couple because divorces they are just right in front yeah of your gate mm. if you allow the enemy to take over he will take over yeah. if you allow uh, a door of uh, of 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 uh, communication communication heals a lot of things mm-hmm. people really don't know that yeah. if you learn how to communicate to your spouse and the way you are communicating yeah there is one way to communicate but the way you put it najua kuna vinyo nasema can you please pass this yeah. cup to me uh-huh. wewe hebu nipatie kikombe hapa Leta. You still come as an African man mm-hmm. there's a way you need to com- com- communicate nicely with love Na, yeah with love mm-hmm. of course the scripture says that husbands love your wives wives submit yeah. to your husbands that act of submission has to be in you you have to swallow it like the way you swallow tailano into tailano tailano or panado yeah. because the now woman is so empowered yep 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 she correct. is so empowered uh-huh. she knows what she wants she is so educated she knows how to make money uh-huh. she's so polished she has access to the social internet and she knows what she wants in life wow with that what will you tell someone no. if you don't have the heart of submission yep yep You have money you're dra- driving your Mercedes or your range of course you have the, your standard in in office is you know you have a high position uh-huh. in the office when you go back home do you become a wife or you still think you will maybe your husband is not earning the same money mm-hmm. so the act of submission has become so rare in a woman because mm-hmm. they have been empowered that you cannot touch a woman like this where kwanza america eh hey. hey. Ni da another That, day uh, language to, to, to siende hata hapo to siende hata hapo ni mambo mengine ni mambo mengine mambo inakuanga the order of of, of america is uh, a child mm-hmm. a woman mm. then a dog then man really that, that means a that, man that, is that, not a that, that, the way they that's say the men, order. the way they say that men are dogs so dog is becomes it go above it go above because that part always gonga umbwa utashikwa my goodness. but anyways we're not talking about stories of here so You, uh, so submission to... because mm. of the standard that I'm like where I'm at even in mi- music uh, you, someone might think I'm not might think of course I am God has given me with all humility God has really raised 
the the my music out there yeah and it be, it has made Evelyn Nanjiro to be really known mm -hmm. to 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 digest the the fame part and become a, a, wife. a wife yeah it takes the hand of god yeah. and a heart that is ready to yeah. submit yeah yeah that i will walk in the house and not show my that. drop that and become the Evelyn Nanjiro of 2000 mother. 2012 mm -hmm. that nobody knew mm -hmm. and people don't know that one of the things that people really don't know is that Evelyn Wanjiro was sharpened by this man you see, you admire Evelyn Wanjiro but there's someone that has put work yeah when 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 you keep on remembering that it gives you the heart of submission wow. so for me i know my husband has partnered with god to make me, to make me who i am today wow. so i i am a woman that is 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 walking on the shoulders of a man. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm becoming strong because there's yeah. someone standing. Women who make you angry, at a minimum, angry. That is what women don't do. I'm a kushika mkono. I'm a nishika mkono. I'm a kushika mkono. And 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 I heard on your testimony because because uh, you stayed ten years. Yes, yes. Mkiomba badum badum toto. Yeah. Now you said he would have left you. Yeah, he would have. He had but, the he had the liberty because I I I was the problem. Um um my body was not just conceiving. Um I had a problem with my menses. Um um my body was not just able to control my 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 hormones were not just balancing well and it took time to regulate them. So it was bad. It was bad, but he walked the journey with mm -hmm. me. That's the best part. Well, were, you, were you seeing the doctor throughout yes. this process? Yes, I, mm -hmm. I was seeing the doctor. Um, we saw the doctors. Any country would go we'll get a gynecologist and yeah. check and they see if we think there's something they can do about it. Mm -hmm. And um, funny enough is that a baby wasn't a priority to us mm -hmm. because we did not get married to get children. Yeah. Oh, he got married for companionship. Mm -hmm. My husband kept on telling me, you know what? You stress yourself too much about this. But somehow, God is going to bless us with a child. Yeah. And I just want to remind you, when they are 18, they will leave us. You so we'll still, we'll still remain the two of us. Yeah. So just uh, relax. But you know, as a woman, I would attack to relax because when I feel... Uh, the pressure of the community. Wasani oh wana kuambia Hata si wasani. Yeah. Like sometimes people that you don't even least expect, uh, you know, sometimes uh, some few family members you'll hear from afar talking and it will really get in you. It's, uh, it's and I, I was scared. I was scared because I love this guy too much and losing him was, it's gonna, it's, go, it's, it's going to shake me mm. big time. Why? Because we've walked the journey with him. Yeah. My God. The You've already gone, invested yeah, so much. Yeah, we've invested. And yeah. that's why I say, any woman that you see standing tall, ata kisema ya mejisomesha menin, una stand tall kusa wabe o mwana ume. Aki anguka, ata venye sometimes di divorce zinafanyikanga. Izi divorce zikifanyika. Ina shekingi kila mtu. Hakuna mtu wakwangi sheken. Yeah. Somehow, ata separation ikifanyika. Ina wa shekinyi nyu wote. Somehow. Because there are so many things that is Takwako disorganized because you guys have been investing together, planning together. Any decision you want to make, you cannot just make alone. Mm -hmm. You have to call. Yeah. Can we do this? Can we do this? That's why when, they, when it falls, it dawns on all of you. So my husband was like, I'm, I'm going to the gyna with you. He would go in, Gary, this man, he would go inside the gynecologist's room every step he was with me even the day of giving birth he, he actually he received the baby before me wow yeah he has walked the journey with me mm -hmm. i think i am really blessed to have him in my life yeah. um but you admire you don't know the test people are going through mm. You admire, you say, your couple ni poor. Yeah. But your couple ina go through fire. They are when you wanna jijua. Wanna jijua. The shoe that you've not wear, worn. Yeah. <laughs> you, you never know you where love, it, you where say, it oh, I love your marriage. It's mm. so beautiful. You guys, I'm like. Na meza. Where, how did you, how did you overcome the pressure of the community? Because kuna vile, maze, maze community, community yetu ya kikenya ina kuangana pressure nyingi. Mtawana lini. Ano inazanga na utapata mtu lini. 
unapata mtu mtaoana lini <coughs> mnaoana utazaa lini unazaa utaleta wapili lini unapata utaleta watatu lini as in, i don't know how when it becomes a, a, a community business <coughs> it becomes a community business because you have allowed that right now everyone is like oh your son now is grown is grown anataka msaidizi don't listen to the pressure of the people because it's too much it's too much um right now we're getting a lot of that pressure right now people are like mwingine anakuja lini oh the way you've gone to america i think another child is coming kuna hata wengine wamekuambia unaenda america unawacha mtoto waje cuz cuz people always are opinionated and they're entitled entitled and uh, i think it's just an african community it thing. is it is tunaitanga social media is in loss yeah. <laughs> our in loss our in loss wow but uh, finally and i'm glad you celebrated uh, your child's birthday just last week together with your anniversary mazee congratulations bana thank you gary why are you revealing that <laughs> oh is ijafanyika in, in, in the real world ijafanyika in the real world I, I went ahead of myself but my but anniversary still, congratulations we, thank you thank you of course my child was born on the 6th of april and we all got married on the 7th of april we celebrate that together uh because it's been the faithfulness of god waiting has not been easy 10 years of waiting in marriage uh for the fruit of the womb has <clears throat> been a real journey and so god has really helped us to love each other in regardless to cover each other mm-hmm. there's no single day my husband stood in front of me and told me hey <clears throat> i'm walking out because yeah. you cannot give birth mm. that itself is a blessing the greatest blessing i think i've ever but in my heart sincerely speaking i was feeling scared you know imefika 10 years jamaa na huyu ni mluya bwana hujampea mtoto eh mnafanya nini kwa hiyo marriage eh. I was scared Gary. I was really scared. I could not show him, but I was scared. I knew and then God has blessed him. What else do you need? What else can you give a man that is already blessed? Mm-hmm. He wants to leave his inheritance kwa mtu. Yeah. But I think when you get married knowing that you've married your friend and not your lover, it becomes a good journey. Mhm because lovers at the end of the day they kind of even end up killing each other yeah. because love becomes too painful until you cannot believe that's why people get they get they 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 they, they get commit it suicide, suicide they yeah. commit suicide mm. because of that yeah so we are more of friends than lovers mm-hmm. now 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 uh you've now graduated mm-hmm. for me you've mm-hmm. graduated now it's a different dynamic yeah a musician yeah a husband mm-hmm. Uh, a family a, a family a, a now mother. Add a mother now mm-hmm. mother motherhood what did it add or do to your music musicianship oh my god it has changed my mindset first i really appreciate my mom in a different dimension because she's i, I being a mom is not easy eh You see women having five I don't know how they do it kudos to every mom out there to every single mother to every uh young mom older mom god our bless sana you're doing a good job whatever you're doing it is still work that nobody else can do it for you <clears throat> and so i have learned to be more compassionate i am I, compassion is so much in me i let go quickly i don't uh, hold grudges quickly mm-hmm. I, i i you you hurt me i let go quickly yeah. i don't have time for holding mm-hmm. mm. there's no you, space for that there's no space for that I, i i see things differently i get an opportunity of wanting to know the other side yeah i don't do i don't judge quickly because uh when people point fingers on other people's children <laughs> and you're a parent mm-hmm. i just wonder because it's a journey that you don't know how tomorrow will look like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so you see a child has gone wayward you're quick to to judge. to judge you need to pray for that child yeah 
the world that we're living in the gen z is different is different the gen z <laughs> my god yeah, yeah. they la- they learn everything from tiktok yeah. everything from opinionated. youtube opinionated you know when we are we are growing us guys we were there to be seen not to be heard yeah. you cannot even comment on a thing yeah. them they will tell you no mm-hmm. i can't do that because of yeah why am i doing why this why am i doing this eh ati peleke ile kikombe hapa mbona na umekaa chini yeah my my son the other day and he's not he, he's just turned two years his dad was like um shindi come and have some maize he told his dad no 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 daddy that's corn I cannot imagine myself correcting my dad uh, at that t- age. Ile e coffee. E coffee. Mbaka injoreka mtu hapa. Atisaizi atisaizi anezaambia mtu ati ati go away go away. No, no. no. I'm li- hey! No was not in our mouths. No. <laughs> ati go away. Yeah? No, 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 no. Go away, go away. Hey. <laughs> So, and imagine he's two years old. Yeah, between wewe na na, na mzee, nani 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 to disciplinary and pale. Well of course, you know me I think I'm more compassionate. Agunda he is. Yeah. He, he he is. Yeah. He is an introvert but very tough. Eh, eh, eh. Ile very, discipline very... ya ya wewe mm, na macho. <laughs> akisikia tu daddy. Yeah. Oh, kanaenda mbio kana kana kwa kame kanaingia line. Yeah. yeah. Wow but mm. it's a new journey all together you enjoying it shaping I'm enjo- you I'm enjoying it I have God has given me so much ideas on women you know just uh, when especially oh my god when a woman wants to give birth the labor season is just crazy it's another you in another world yeah. so it changes your mind completely about a woman God gave me an idea of uh, starting off my foundation mm-hmm. in the Nigeria Foundation out of my journey yeah. where we are standing with women in the informal settlements uh in the rural areas uh, um uh, um even in Nairobi but we just look at uh, hospitals that are in dire need mm-hmm. of us coming to stand with a woman that needs a basin needs diapers yeah needs a sanitary towel needs ta- needs towel baby shawls you know ma- it, we call it mother 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 baby uh, mother baby park uh-huh. uh, a mother baby park is a park where it has even soap inside you know i went to lodwa just to be a blessing to 40 44 45 women there gary what i saw with my eyes simple a basin is not more than 200 shillings i think we can get even basin here 50 shillings yeah but they are sharing basins a newborn child they don't have a f- a flannel a flannel is a shawl a baby shawl mm-hmm. to cover a young girl of 14 15 16, these girls they have wow. given birth mm-hmm. they don't have a know how from there they they don't know anything they don't have diapers they don't have they have not even bought pants for the child mhm utatoka je hospitali na una baby show ya kufunika mtoto wow wana katana leso huyu anasaidia yule leso na huyu mwingine anasaidia leso it is that bad simple Serious. things that we take mm-hmm. for granted yeah mama ameza hana sanitary towels ya kumsaidia they don't have hana mafuta ya kupaka mtoto they don't have wow what do i do to this woman i ke- come about with the uh, the baby mother pack and our evelyn anjuro foundation be a blessing to this woman that has just given birth mm-hmm. uh, uh one pack if you want to support a woman is 50 dollars yeah. 100 dollars when you when you go on my social media platform the www.evelynwanjirofoundation you find all the details there mm-hmm. i got a burden for women who have uh infertility issues to walk the journey out of my story to encourage them some are ignorant they are, you cannot sit there and say i'm waiting on god you have to take an initiative also to go to the doctor and find out is there a problem yeah. and then take a step now keep on talking to your god after you known the problem mm-hmm. it is um 
women that have lost their children. You give birth, you carry the baby for nine months, you go to the hospital, you give birth, and then you're walking out of the hospital without a child. Still birth. People are so insensitive. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, you know that's how that's our talk. Yeah, it's, it's cliche. It's, yeah, it's it's okay. Don't worry, mm. it's okay. God will bless you with another. This woman has carried Naizoma or Mono. Yeah, whatever. You don't know what they've passed through, even with that the journey. expectation mm. because already this woman is expectant. I'm getting a child. I'm in Unua Vitu. Unua Vitu nyumbani unajua tena actors. It's stressful. Yeah. So, um, encouraging a woman that has, is going through grief of loss, mm-hmm. talking to them, walking the journey with them, a woman that cannot conceive, uh, taking through my journey, my story, and then women that have given birth and they don't have um, just simple essentials that to support them. Yeah. So, that's what motherhood wow. has brought my way. Yeah. Wow. My mm-hmm. goodness. That's good stuff because mm-hmm. uh, we only see people singing. Mm-hmm. But singing is good. It created a platform for you to think broad mm-hmm. and not be selfish sure. and think about changing a community because even we are Christian, but we have to be Christian in action, mm-hmm. walking the talk always. Sure. And uh, that's a big uh, part on your side to to enable those women out there to because they cannot afford Sure. People are living under a dollar a day. Even a, a, even a dollar is a lot. Mm-hmm. They cannot afford. So I I think it's a it's a good thing, and I want to recommend you. So if you want to uh, be part of uh, Evelyn's journey, I will put the website here. What the the work they're doing, uh, yeah. how you can reach them, how you can support them. Because if you cannot go, at least your dollar can go. Wow. I'm Especially I'm this Mother's Day is yeah. coming in May. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's so much that we are doing, and uh, just. Uh, um, I've been I've been going to different states mm. and uh, I've been going to different states and I've been having interviews with the the uh, Kenyan moms who have who have children young girls here yeah. in the US and how the journey has been you know hearing how they have raised their children in this foreign land yeah is different from how we've been raised in absolutely <clears throat> absolutely and I was sharing yeah. with them and telling them this is what we are doing and I'm telling you. America is blessed. America is a good place to be. They are blessed women here when they go to give birth. Yeah. You hear the the process. It you're so blessed. Don't take that for granted mm. at all. Mm. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about uh journey away kukuja America because Kenya Marekani highlight stories in America and uh the challenges, the I mean <coughs> culture shocks. Vitu zenyu likuwa unaona America ukiwa kwa TV Kama ni zenyu unaonanga hapa So tuwa zena process Probably ya kuingia kwa visa interview How was it for you? The first time I'm talking about the first time The visa interview How was that? It was interesting I Actually I did not know that you you come to the immigration again And be interviewed I'm thinking Again I'm being interviewed And and it's so interesting They asked me a very interesting question have you carried any 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 um in insect how many bugs I'm thinking why would I carry <laughs> why would I why what what any africa image likana kwa ni kochafu aje ai mungu wangu remember insect hey aji i was like what are you how do i look my god that was the first culture shock. The second one Apa when... Apa kwa port of entry ama kule kwa Nairobi kwa embassy? Apa kwa port of entry. Ehe. Oh, ukujua wata kuliza <coughs> tena again. Ehe. <laughs> Mini nijua That... tunafika kwa airport. Ume ingie, ume tungu na mbwembo. Ehe. The second biggest culture shock for me was when the, I was received. I was, I landed in Kansas. That mm. was the first, my first trip. Yeah. When, when, which year was this? 2016. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ay, ja, ja, ja. Kwanza, no, I I I I I landed in Chicago, mm-hmm. and this African American was talking to me, and I could not hear anything. 
literally the i know english yeah, but, but this time round <laughs> your english was not english wali nikamata <laughs> hakuna kitu nilikuwa nasikia nikiuliza nikiulizwa nikiulizwa it started first of all in 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 heathrow yeah i came through heathrow and the the first thing that real i took my phone and i had to do a video call to call yeah. my husband and the uh, is it the escalator in camera escalator yeah, yeah. man walking yeah yo, 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 escalator yeah 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 walking i had never seen anything we don't have anything like that in in, in our nation yeah. in africa i've never seen anything like that i'm like hey in escalator gani na kutembesha hivi mpio that was and then being sniffed by a dog <laughs> Oh my goodness I I was like what is this in <laughs> in London yeah. And then I asked someone where do the, the gate someone ma'am read the sign read the sign So I was telling myself mtu mwenye juu ku read na naona tuzo shot nyingine hapo tu zetu mkikuyu bibi na bwana wanaongea kikuyu nikasema guy nikishikana na hao kwa sababu watu wanaambia read the sign tutapotea sote utapotea kipofu na kipofu Eh hey kufika chicago i i i asked this i don't know what i asked her gizungu toka po ya ki african american si kushika kitu yote nikatembea nikasema ndakangana tafute but now because you know i hadn't gotten out of any airport because it's like i'm doing the connecting flights yeah, yeah, yeah. when i landed in kansas and they received me when i came out <clears throat> I asked this pastor. Kwani kuna curfew? Akasema why? There's nobody outside. Akanambia curfew why? Nikamwambia kuna mtoto mmoja anatembea. Kwani masaya kujuka I literally I thought there is a curfew. Akanambia welcome to America. Yeah. Kwani anambia na accent ya kikuyu. Welcome to America. This is America. There are no people outside. There are no people. What they are do? Counts away are people. They are driving, they are walking. <laughs> Culture shock number 3, 4. Mm. Where are people? No people. No people. Look back, no people. <laughs> I really want I and because I see people I not see literally nobody. Yeah. She told me oh, if you really want to see people, the people are in the malls. Mm. That was another culture shock. Ah ya 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 ya. Culture shock number 10. <laughs> hey, America. America ina kuonesha maneno. So how many states have you gone so far? Oh lord. I think more than 10. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I've been to Atlanta, Dallas, Maryland, Boston, Seattle, Ohio, <clears throat> California Alabama mm-hmm. Oh that's that's fantastic that's fantastic yeah, how, how how's it been tra- traversing in America you know doing your songs then unasikia watu wanaimba songs zako huko hivyo It's such a blessing it's yeah. such a blessing to to hear that um one of the things that I really uh, must congratulate myself is I feel like I've really it's work it's a lot of work has been put mm-hmm people cannot just be singing your song if you you didn't step taken a step of faith mm. to step out to market your music yeah yeah because you can't just put your songs on the shelves and say god will just make yeah, it we, go atazi, out atazi mm-hmm. but what is the other thing you need to do i mean because uh, even so even though we come to america we've not yet hit the international as per se international as per se yeah. what do you think kenyan music needs to twitch a little bit so that we can reach we come here we don't just sing to a kenyan community <coughs> we sing to uh americans we go to an american church we go to like every like 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 um like we're able to cut just, across you, yeah. you know you know like the nigerians artists the way they they come every when you talk about music nigerians have to come in 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 the picture because i've gone to some of their concerts even probably as a small population of kenyans or nigerians the other population in the stadium over 20000 people is all americans all wide all wide uh, array of people mm-hmm. so what do you think the kenyan music needs to do so that to cut that to cut that and uh, enter into the bigger market of the world well i feel we need to do more collaborations because music is diverse yeah. language is never a barrier mm-hmm. because it's music yeah i mean 
uh, just uh, do a lot of collaborations. Um, that way it give, puts you on the map. One of the arts that we need to learn is that um, I think most musicians, we don't know the art of uh, embracing uh, people from other nations. Yeah. I think when we, just as you say, when you talk of Nigerians, they have learned the art of maneuvering and finding their way on. Evelyn is here, how will I reach her? Uh-huh. No matter the protocol I'll have to go through, uh-huh. I have to. So have we, to don't want, we don't want to get tired. Mm-hmm. You don't want to get tired. When you hear there's protocol there, I oh, yeah. yeah. you know, me, I'm, I'm, me, I'm, 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 <laughs> That means you never grow yep. above. Mm-hmm. You never you have to be like an eagle. You fly above the storm. Yeah. When the storms come, you fly above. Mm-hmm. Face your fears and m- penetrate if you know you want this thing. Yeah. I think that's what the Nigerians have really realized yeah. and they have captured it so well. Uh collaborations. <clears throat> Another thing I think when we do even in our Swahili. Because Swahili is our language. Yeah, it's our language, yeah. Uh, of course, I think it's our first language, not English. Yeah, Swahili is our first <coughs> language, actually. Yeah, we have to like put interpretation of the song mm-hmm. on, the, on the, the song lyrics on the, on the screens. That way, when someone is watching your music, they are able to, they're able to read and understand. Mm-hmm. I don't believe that the American sound is better than African sound. No, no. It's just that we have just to look for ways. Those are snippets. Mm-hmm. I don't want to lose my touch of, I've seen Emiko's gay, which is my mentor. And she stands in serious array of whites. Yeah. Not doing English, but her. In her diversity, she stands yeah. there and she raised the flag of East do, do you think? Do you think going back to her roots? Because, because... And that's what Nigerian, I believe, have done. They, they've gone back to their roots a lot because their songs can be, it's like traditional songs, but they've just revamped them a little bit. Mm-hmm. They've revamped them a mm-hmm. little bit. Because if I look at Emiko's Gay, her songs are traditional, but they have like an up, I mean, like an upbeat, yeah, modern, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, modern yeah. kind of nini. Because one, one time, by the way, I went to Black Mambazo from South Africa. They came here in, in a concert here in America. And I went to their concert. In fact, there were no South Africans there. And none of their songs is in English. It's all Izoma, Zulu, mm-hmm. the, the, mm-hmm, those, mm-hmm. those kind of language, mm-hmm. you know? <clears throat> but as you've said, music is universal. I think as Kenyans as well, it's good to, to go back to our roots. Because that's, <laughs> if we want to compete with Americans, go back to your roots. Back you can't roots. sing like a black American. Yeah. Them, they, they are good at that. Mm-hmm. If you want to be seen unique, go back to your roots. Mm-hmm. Then they will see, eh, there's something you're bringing on the table. Yeah. I yeah. feel like, I feel that's what Kenyans, we, sh- we should do. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't Going know Going back you. to our roots yeah. and uh, just uh, sharpening it more. Yeah. Uh, earlier I said, music is growing. It's taking a different turn. Yeah. You can't, you can't ignore that. So sharpen your, 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 your skill and uh, make it more beautiful yeah. for people to embrace it. Mm-hmm. Learn from people that have gone ahead of you. Yeah. That is one of the things that we are feeling. You feel like, just as I say, Jogo Amta, Hakuna Uambiliki, like, where to go. When the Ulem say. You know? do, do, do you feel like uh, when the awards, like Groove Awards died, do, do you feel it affected the gospel industry? Yeah, there are some people who are really dependent on it. Yeah. Some people are targeting April yeah, Palendon yeah, releasing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it gave them a, a good uh, platform where because they used to do tours. Mm-hmm. So those tours, they used to uh, spread them out. People would get to know there is this artist, there is this artist when they stand on the stage. Now, probably because of the kind of sound they have, they, they are, most of them, the young people, they don't get invitations much mm-hmm. as the kind of sound we release yeah, worshippers. Yeah. So that was the only platform to make them be seen out there. Uh-huh. Yeah. I like the dimensions that you've taken uh, as we come to the conclusion of live music mm-hmm. and the fact that you started the praise fest. Praise atmosphere. Praise atmosphere. Mm. Uh, I think is a space that you so pale kombali na sasa bwana producer ndio aliona hiyo space akasema kuna space hapa ndani cuz 
there's a way that gospel music started now going live. If you're not doing this kind of praise and worship, you're either there or here. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and you took that space. And now you're inviting a lot of international artists. So the collaborations that you're talking about, mm-hmm. I think they're coming in there. How did you come about uh, that whole idea and the venture itself? Well, I just I said, music is revolving. Mm-hmm. Of course, you can't be doing live recordings if you have not um, been challenged somewhere. So we were challenged in South Africa. We went there and, uh, man, we had never seen anything like that in our entire life. And I was so challenged. And we were asking ourselves with Agunda, are we able to pull this? Just getting the name praise atmosphere took us two years for God to clearly speak to us and say, this is the name of the event that I want you guys to mm-hmm. do. And praise atmosphere was an altar we were raising for God uh, because God said, you keep on praising me in the storm. And in the storm that we were in, it was not a storm per se, it was a challenge that we were facing of, 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 of childlessness. We raised the standard of worship through live music. Went to South Africa, learned the art of excellence in music. Mm-hmm. For sure, those guys, God has blessed them in that area. I agree. You cannot I disagree agree. or argue yeah. with me in that. Mm. Then God gave us an opportunity. We got an invitation. We went to Ghana to learn the art of excellence in receiving people. People are assets. People are gold. People are destiny helpers. How you carry them and handle them speak so much about you and mm. your future. Yeah. That's the same way you will handle the same way you handle someone is the same way they it is ha- they, will, they will handle you. It mm. will it will somehow catch mm. up with you somewhere. Yeah. Mm. So we we went to Ghana and West Africans they can receive you you Tafikiria you are a president. So we learned so much from there because we didn't want to start off something with not knowing with without knowing the, without having the know-how. Mm-hmm. So we learned those two things and those were the key things. Learning music and if we want to invite a guest, you know how do we receive them? Yeah. Where? So how I will receive you, you will still be in my, in, in, in my in your, your mind will still remember yeah. Kenya, the first person you think of is praise atmosphere. Yeah. I've seen you invite now the likes of uh, <clears throat> First ladies, they are now coming to that kind of. It's it means the reception that you're talking about is being felt. Even that a first lady now can come and sit there comfortably. Yeah, she's a woman of prayer. Our first lady has uh, really um, stayed in the secret place and understood her mantle and a mandate in the nation. And uh, being in our our event, it was such a great honor. You know, uh, supporting. Uh, this uh, assignment that God has given us. Um, and when she sat there, one of the greatest blessings was that she sat for nine straight hours. Wow. Kneeling, praying, worshipping, dancing, yeah. enjoying in the presence of the Father. Mm-hmm. I think uh, we are so blessed as Kenyans to have a mother of the nation that prays and and loves God passionately like yeah. that. It was an honor having her. Um, it has really um, raised the eyebrows even of p- people in the parliament. People want God. Yeah. It's the I think it's the is a is a meeting that we're doing at the end of the month of of the year, the last month of the year, mm-hmm. and nobody wants to start off a year without God. Yeah. So we. You 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 praise your way to your breakthrough to the next year. Mm. So we got an, such a great honor to have her hosting her there, and uh, yeah, she's she's really been a blessing to us. Wow. Yeah, wow. that's amazing, Evelyn. Uh, I'm really privileged to have you in our show. Thank you. Thank you so much for gracing churches in America. Mm. You brought people are used to a, a certain type of music here, but yeah. you're bringing a different thing and it's planting a seed Amen. so I'm, plant, I'm planting a seed for more i've seen people like rehema now are coming and being accepted mm-hmm. it's a different kind of 
Ujua watu wamezoea kekosho kidogo mm. and it's not it's not bad mm. it's a type of style mm. but now you're bringing another dimension so mm. i you're opening doors for people now that are doing live music here wow and they will be accepted because you are among the first that have i've seen that came doing live music now mm. kumekuwa na dr ipiana mm. paul clement now came and uh, rehema masimasika mm. also mm. is now into the live as well yeah east africa yeah so uh, you're opening a door that uh, people people will not take it lightly mm. you are a trend setter and uh, you you know you're leaving a mark in this in this america and thank you. in the north pacific uh, north, northwest you know Amen. so i thank god for you thank you so much for availing yourself thank you for having me stop by kenya marekani kenya marekani <laughs> mimi ndio nimebarikiwa kuwa hapa marekani asante sana yeah so tuendele na neema hiyo so where, when are you going next Where are, you, where are you going next after this? Wow, I'm going to support uh, my brother uh, Pastor Timothy Kitu is a musician, a Kenyan gospel musician. Yeah. Um and also uh, will be joined by Gloria Muliro, she's also a Kenyan gospel yeah, musician yeah. in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh he's raising uh funds to build a church and uh the meeting is going to be on Saturday mm-hmm. next week. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Maybe probably be, uh, as we end just mention your 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 socials again and where guys can support your project uh, okay. and then uh, God will bless us. Yeah, well I'll start off with the, the Evelyn Wanjiro Foundation. You can go to www.evelyn is e v e l y n evelynwanjirofoundation.com. Uh just go there, check what we are doing. You can partner with us be uh, a, a, a partner it, there's a categories we, we've put there and see what we are doing you can also there's an annual event that we do raising an altar of praise uh, in Africa it's called praise atmosphere so www.praiseatmosphere.com uh get there see what you're doing be a partner support by all means however you can we will really appreciate uh financially you can support you can support uh uh in kind uh we are open uh, just to ensure that the gospel is taking uh, another turn especially from Kenya to the world uh, and so also you can follow me to get my my everyday events uh, at evelyn10 underscore a uh that's on twitter evelyn10 underscore a on instagram Evelyn Wanjiro uh is it underscore on TikTok is it underscore TikTok TikTok is <laughs> Evelyn Wanjiro I I know you'll see me there yeah, yeah. Evelyn Wanjiro I think underscore a yes mm-hmm. and then uh where on X same mm-hmm. and on Facebook Evelyn Wanjiro dot a it has uh, most of my social media platforms have a verification uh, the blue tick yeah. so just know that is Evelyn mm-hmm. God bless you so much Asante sana Thank you so much ladies hey. and gentlemen. Oh oh, yini ya mwisho. YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> hey, hey, YouTube, pale YouTube. Pale YouTube. Hey. Subscribe, get to be blessed by my music there Evelyn Wanjiro. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. I will not add nor subtract. God bless you. If you're new here, consider subscribing if you watch till the end. When do let say bazi. Alafu, uh you can also be part of uh our YouTube channel. Make sure you uh, become a member. There's a button there for being a member, so you can be a member and being a support system. If you have a story, you want to talk about anything, I mean inspiration mostly, talk to us. If you have a business you want to promote, this is the platform, especially here in Northwest. Kama una biashara unataka kujulikana hapa Northwest Washington, kama unajipitia mkenya Marekani, utasema unapitia nani? So cheers, may God bless you. Tunane badai. Thank you so much. Hey.